Welcome back to Hyperion Podcast, episode 11. This is an emergency podcast for, because for some reason, Dark Ride wants to start it in the middle of the day, right in the middle of my piano practice. Would you like to say some words of that? I humbly apologize for bringing you early content oh, that is that's... already four days late anyways, so... For that reason, Twitch chat will probably be dead, because no one's here to talk know. about it. But, alright. Alright, so, uh, first we're gonna talk about, uh... Uh, the new monthly exchanges, Gemini and Gemini Pollux and Cancer, actual Cancer. Metal Pollux and Metal. <laughs> Me yeah. Metal, metal Cancer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's well, look at. It's mechanized Cancer, but true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's look at Pollux first. Yeah. Double Brick is very sweet, of course. Uh, this this card, I'm just gonna say now, both it's forms are good. The equip uh, yeah. is like actually over over tuned as fuck. Uh, this form is good for Misaka from this collab. Yep, and it's two it's, turn voids. It's got good so. utility. Two turn um, voiders. So yeah, obviously it's gonna be good. If you have the time, the resources, and enough Polux to make this exchange a couple of times, I would highly recommend it. Yeah, I got two. I've got two. I also got two. I would, I would rec. Well, I got three. I always do. But this is also a sweet leader skill. If you just want to swipe shit, just like pull up a it light, pull light board, and just, just go ham. Yeah. Very sweet. All right, that's a yeah. good equip. Yeah. Okay. The now this equip, equip is uh, also very nice. Very overpowered. Yes. Yeah. Um, Physical double team HP skill SBR and uh, eighty percent light away. Then the activity is two turn haste and the. Putin. So yeah, overall great card. And it's a five X light spike for two yeah. which is uh, and it's not it's not a Fujin. Just it's for not? reference, it's, it's damage ad absorbed void. It's an ad absorbed void. Not it literally void. says voids damage absorption for two turns. What are you doing? Oh, other okay. It's damage absorption, not attribute. Sorry, Sorry. I read that backwards. Bruh. It, it does not do attribute absorption, so it's not a full Fujin. Yeah, it's not it's full. Kind of, kind of like the opposite of. I mean, Fujin is just damage absorbed. That's why I always yeah, say this Fujin and is really good. It doesn't. It doesn't have a skill boost, which is kind of a shame. Eh, it doesn't but need it. Has, it has like literally everything else you could want on an equip, which is fine. We'll take that trade off, right? Like I'm only getting two because I only farm twenty, and I really don't see too much need for dupes. But you can definitely use them. I, I, I'm not I getting them. I don't think there's ever gonna be a team where you would have two of this on the main team. Yeah. But I think there could be teams where you would have one of him on the main team and then his equip somewhere on that team. And that's why I have two. One yes. for the base, one for the equip. I, I got three, just in case I really wanted to like do some weird system with his active yeah. and base, but I, I, I get three of all of them because I'm psycho. So. Alright, let's look at uh, Cancer. That, that That's quite accurate, because I think that's what this card is. This card is horrible. <laughs> this card is so bad. I, th I think this yeah. is actually the worst of these monthly exchanges that there's ever been. Yeah. Or, I, I genuinely don't know where you would use this card. Alright, let's see. Uh, so first game delay, rather, first, so it's what? a delay rather than a haste. Even though it's a four-turn delay versus a two-turn haste, the delay is just inherently worse. Mm. So... If four is like, it's, not, it's not unusable, but it's four unique. is a good amount, but it's not like... A, a, it, it's still a delay, not a haste. You'd rather have it the other way, even if it yeah. is two versus four. And then the active skill, four turns. It's a bypass damage absorb and add absorb, but it's only for one turn. So it's not that good because there's a lot of dungeons that need you to have it back to back. Immediate. Like, like Ryume or Gunner? Back to back. Mm. And, yeah, exactly. And you'll get fucking murked if you don't have it back to back. So. Yep. Uh, also, the Awakens on this, it's got decent damage on the Awakens, but it doesn't have anti-gravity or levitate. Zero so utility. it's not going to be that good. Also, I would like to just say, as a point of personal preference, I think the artwork on this card is not good. Um, I like the artwork on Polux. I think he looks okay. I think the artwork on this thing looks weird as hell. Yeah, it, it looks like... It looks like one of those cards in the uh, Rem <laughs> back in, like... 2012. Um, I will say the one saving grace for this card is I like the act or the leader skill. I think the leader skill is funny. Yeah, that's interesting. And then for the equip, I'll tag it over. Um, so it is not a turn of delay for whatever nope. reason. Instead of for whatever reason, Polux goes two to two, but this goes four to three. I I, I don't know why. Funny because it's not good. It has a dragon killer, so it's technically in air quotes a farmable. Dragon Killer equip. Farmable my you ass. You have to roll acubens. You have to roll multiple acubens, and mm. then you have to farm the dungeon, which is garbo to farm, unless the the bull or whatever whatever like 
Star Dragon Dungeon is. The drop is 50 50, by the way. It is 50 50, yes. It took me running this dungeon like 22 times to get 10 of these to drop. It was not fun. That was like a bar and a half of stamina. Rest, rest in peace. When you lose coin toss like 12 times in a row, that's happened Basically, to me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the rest of this active skill on the equip is not good. We don't. If there ever comes a time where they add some kind of latent to the game that makes this T equip or that T latent or awakening useful, then this might be okay. But even then, by There's the time better they shit. do that, there yeah. will be better stuff than this because two fingers with a T and a dragon, like T and a dragon is fine, but there's no use for a T. So this is basically just a three turn delay with a dragon killer. There, there's really no other reason to use this. Yeah. So I guess yeah, the active is no, oh, passable, but like no, there's way better shit. Like no, thank you. As, as with all of the other ones that we don't recommend that highly, I mean, if you have a lot of extra acubens and the extra stamina, just get one because yeah. why not? Why not? There might be a time where you need it, but like the odds that you will need it are not that high. So you could probably skip this one and use your time to farm a Wayland pheasant or a metal speaker if you don't have one yet. Yeah. Instead. Like, I'm debating skipping Acubens, because I only have three, so... I would, and I would this guy is change kind one of Acubens bad. for one Metal Acubens, but I... Yeah, but I don't want to farm Cancer. Farming Cancer. I'm literally farming literally Cancer. Farming, you are giving yourself Cancer. Uh, <laughs> cancer. Uh, cancer. Actual yeah, horrible. That's, that's that. And then, we'll, uh, just go down. We'll do the two farmables next. Oh, yeah, let's look at this. Real quick. Or, well, farmable... In farmable Dengeki shit. Farmable. Right. Okay, so Accelerator... So, um, okay, this guy's like not terrible. So, He's a one turn Fujin with a full shield on a 12 turn cooldown. And which is a lot of you yeah. and Ad Absorb, which is useful, but it's this is basically going to be like a farming util utility kind of thing where you just use the active to punch through a shield and then tank a hit that because you didn't one shot it and then hit it again type of deal. If this was a two turn Fujin with the shield, it would be Amazing. so good. Yeah. Um, but the dungeon he drops from is not like other collabs. It only gives you the collab coins, so it's not really that good as far as the the like rewards drops. for running yeah. the dungeon go. It's basically just him, and then after you've run it like ten times to skill him up, you'll have enough coins to trade for the collab exchange, which isn't really that good anyways. And Let's then you have no reason to farm this guy. Pardon? Last uh, last one. Or... Yeah, the last one. Uh, That's last black one metal. The, she's black metal. Yeah, five, yeah. five black metal for this. Yeah, um, no, 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 man. I five. genuinely don't. I usually I recommend you use five and just get one if you have them. Like if you have lots of extras, because recently, especially if you buy the monthly like, um, Godfest bundles, you, you probably have lots of black metals. I'm sitting on like fifty of them. So you could probably get one just for the sake of having it, but I don't even know if there's a reason to get one. I mean, she's not because bad because like she's she just four L's. Either. That's cis void. She's like, like worse than Pallone, bro. Like, I mean, obviously, yeah. But that, like, it's there, free. That's gonna be a, a running trend once we get into this collab, by the way. But mm, it's free uh, though. Things that are worse than things that we've had for two years. Yep. Um so this is a good cope card because it's free. Like if you don't have a void or a cleric, then sure, pick it up. But like, look, like it's not it's, bad. If you're it's not bad. if you're a new player, it's not bad because it has a lot of utility that your box might not have yet. The active skill is very good. the The problem is this card is basically going to be null and void as far as damage goes. This is a dead slot on your team. It's there for utility yeah. and nothing else. Which, in late game, like you end on obviously but... like. The, most teams have a couple slots dedicated to cards like that just to cover mechanics in the dungeon um but if you have a more developed box this is probably not as good as many other things that you have also if you're newer uh your air server went to sleep by the way i know uh, if you're not. newer then you probably don't even have the black metals to exchange for this as it is so you'd be better to hold them and just trade them in on something in the future that's more useful than this yeah so yeah Anyways, it's not bad, but it ain't too good. Anyways, uh, next. Oh, All wow, right, let's. I want to go to your pad app. I did forget the the dungeon coin exchange. Uh, the sword. Interesting. The sword, yeah, yeah. Niatono, Ni Noshana, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is particularly good, but it's a mm. farmable equip with two team HPs and a type changer, which is. If, if you don't have it, sure. Yeah. If you don't have a lot of these already, somehow, then sure. Uh, tech this one uh, we usually say technically free no this one actually is free 
Yeah. So if you're farming for Accelerator, you'll get this by proxy, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Why you're farming for Accelerator, I really don't know, but if you are, you know? Because I'm doing okay. 3 counties. And then I'll passively uh, get accelerators. That dungeon, that dungeon is icky. Good luck Ooh. with that 3P, man. That's not that my problem. Not, I'm not the one building a, a teams. That, this has to be the most, like, garbage collab dungeon we've had in, like, a year. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's talk about tiers. So, uh, starting from F, like, garbage, like, literally, literally unplayable trash. D, just, like, say, really I, bad. I don't think there is actually an F tier card in this machine. Yeah, we'll see. So... Uh, D is like really bad. Maybe some use once in like a in century. The most, the most extreme niche use case is D. C is a mid, basically like there's nothing good, but it's not too bad. It's like culpable. Yeah, you wouldn't culpable. be mad to get one, but you don't really want them in dupes. Yeah, getting more than one or two is like uh, it starts to feel bad after the first one. Yeah. So B is anything that's like borderline passable. B like, is boring because it's just generically okay stuff. Nothing yeah. mind blowing, but it, it it usually B is reserved for cards that have alternate versions of the card. Like there's something else that does the same thing but better. But you could get this card and it would do the other card's job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A is like anything that's actually you'd be happy to have it, like yes, actually things, useful shit. Things things you want but not too many of. Yep. And then S tier is obviously. So chase cards, you really want them, because they're good. Something like that. And then SS tier is if there's any card, hint, hint, that reaches the tier of must get, or like, if you spend money in this game, you, you should like actively obtain this, this card, because it's is, that This good. is the card you whale for, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, Alright, let's start from bottom. And if you look at the tier name, it's here for a reason, so... Mm, yeah. Yes. Okay, right, so let's start. from the bottom, we got Shirai Kuroko. I have the bot, so just tell me when you need me to tab it to the next... Uh... Yep, there we go. Uh, that was... No damage, because 7Cs ain't no shit. No damage. Moderator check. Um, mm. The no. active skill is... A garbage. Kind of, it's not a long cooldown. It's not it's bad, not but it's not garbage. It's not that bad. There's just, again, as like I said earlier, it's a running trend with this collab. This card is fine. But there's about 30 other cards at this point that do the same thing, but better. Exactly. So it's garbage. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, uh, it's pretty much garbage. Yeah. No Autofu? Trash. It's above yeah. 2020, though. It's above 16 out, so... Yeah, it's I will not, say, not oh, way, we forgot to do the should you roll. Oh, right. Should you roll? Let's yes. do that now. Absolutely, you should Absolutely, roll. Absolutely, yeah. This is probably the best use for your stones that we've had in like six months since Prince of Tennis. So, yeah. you want to know something else? Mm. They're all seven star or eight star, and you'd expect exactly. okay, but that's me. Seven star is a new worse, but no, you can exchange in your dupes you or seven stars. Literally, you can exchange literally anything that you roll in this machine in for yeah. one of the top tier cards. Exactly. For one of the in for one of the exchangeables, which is absolutely amazing, and I yeah. wish Gung Ho would do this more. Yeah, because like you're 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 still investing, even with a bad roll. That's a fifth of a good roll. Made so. me made me real gra glad when I rolled that fourteenth copy of Hakate in this collab. It made me real glad I could change them for more shamans. Exactly. So. All right, let's go back to uh. Shirai. All right, uh, let's move on. Equip. Shirai. Oh yes. Sorry, I forgot this one has an equip. Um, Metal spray. Not everything has an equip. That is the other nice thing about this collab. You I mean, it's... also roll this collab because everything has an equip. Yep. So, or turn this, the. This collab is um, or this this equip is uh, okay. It's just very outdated. It, nah. There's so much that does better stuff than this. There's no reason to use this anymore. Uh, this card is straight to D tier. This card is D tier. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. This is the most D tier of D tier card there's ever, ever been, to be honest. D for Ds. Like I, like I said earlier, D is the card that you want, want, you'd be okay with having one of, because there might be that extreme niche scenario where you'd see her in, in a team and be like, oh, cool, I can copy that, I have one. That, that, that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, next Excellent. guy. Suchi uh, Mikado Motoharu? Uh, okay. no unbindable so, on the on the regular uh, awakenings. It's garbage. So the thing that is, well, you could, he has four SB even without the super That's awaken, true. and with the super awaken, uh, you could put like 
a, a Maku, I don't know. Like a Pendra or something on him. And yeah. then but it's one turn he, cooldown. It's technically seven turns. So he's, yeah, he is one turn cooldown. So he makes heal unmatchable and he drops your HP to one. The good thing about him is he has a super TPA. So you can. So, he has a, so, so you can unmatch clear his active skill. Which means that technically it does, the heart, the heal orbs don't need to stay unmatchable. You could heal yourself, and you can um, also use him as Crusader or Aura fodder, which is exactly nice. that too. Also very useful. Yeah, but um, you basically need a Force Unbind. He, yeah. he has good damage. He doesn't have Levitate. Mm. Rainbow is in a horrible spot for that exact reason. Yep. Um, they do this to every Rainbow card that looks like it has potential. They don't give it Levitate. All the leaders don't have Levitate until we get Rafine Kitty when we get the next Sanrio rerun. So there's really no reason to even consider rainbow cards right now. Remember Atelier? In the future. I do. Well, we'll talk about her after this when we get to the blue card. But There, yeah. there, may, there may come a time in the not-too-distant future where this card is okay, in this form specifically, but that time is not right now. And even when it does come, he won't be good for the the late game teams because he doesn't have gravity resist he doesn't have any kind of levitate yeah a right. uh, leader um, skill 16x not good. garbage not good not good passable but um, garbage yeah equip his equip is actually yeah. okay i actually it's not really bad. like yeah. this equip it has a great deal of utility oh that actually was nice I, I know we say this every time we or i say this every time we see an equip that turns your board to seven by seven by six but it is nice in this instance because the rest of the active skill that comes with it is has also good. a lot of utility. Yeah, 80% yeah. chill. Really nice. And the and the awakenings are pretty good. Unbind, skill boost, and a three color. I mean, it's not the most impactful awakenings, but they're not bad. Yeah. They're fine. They're they're definitely, I mean, maybe not right now, but there definitely should come a time where that's at least passably useful, right? So, However, I would be disappointed if I get more than two copies of this card, because there's no more use for more than two. One place in equip. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I, would, I would say he's probably like a, like a C tier. Or I'd say bottom maybe, of B. Like bottom of B. B. Yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe low B. B. Yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, uh, next up is... Uh, we're, we're helming in Car Caramel. Yeah, Caramel. Not, not Caramel. Your caramel. Your own, yeah. uh, uh, this is another one where it's like... Hey, look, Levitate. Weird, um, this is, honest to God... That dark light girl that we put in D tier, this card is like unironically worse than that. Really? Let's see. Uh, double ten C. The utility. This double ten C is the most piss useless set of levitate awakenings ever. Levitate. It has le it <laughs> double ten C with the levitate. <laughs> F. Like, uh, it's no damage. Waste. Yeah, it doesn't uh, do any damage even with levitate. Um, I mean, the active skill is like bad. fine, it's too, but you would rather have the utility of the other girl. The dark light girl's utility is better than the utility on this one. Mm. Pretty sure the only difference is that this one is one turn, where the other girl is, uh... Two, no, they're both two turns. Mm. The other the other one's two... But that one's not... One is, that's only one sign, isn't it? The other one's only Fujin or Aspirin? It's just one? Hold up. No, this is... Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah that one's one is an Fusion. This is only the the damage absorbed void. No, this is better. This the active was okay, two yeah, turns. Yeah, this yeah. one is better. I guess the active skill is better. Leader skills asked though. The other one, the other one would actually deal more damage though. The other one's got like eight seven C's with the levitate. It's so the other one would actually do more damage. Six seven C's, wasn't it? I'm was it six? Sure. Is it is it three seven C's or two? One two three four five six. Oh, with super awakening no, it's, it's eight. It's six. With super awakening it's eight. Yeah, yeah. that's what I meant. I was gonna count um, your math there, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's eight, but yeah. Uh, move to equips. Leader skill's not worth talking about. It's pretty. No, she's yeah. not. Um, and then. Tie that, that. This this equip is actually okay. No, yeah, ten C equip is um, always good because you know. Three turn, three turn, like full Fujin with a board change and a ten C and a, and an SBR. So like, sure. Yeah, no. I have I have seen need? this equip get used already from watching like JP players and playing a little myself there. I've seen and used this equip already. This equip's fine. Oh, yeah. It's not fun. Uh, top of B? Sure. Yeah. Just for that equip. You'd, yes. be, you'd be happy to have one, but after that, it's kind of overkill. There's never really going to come a time where you'll need more than one of these. But guess what? You can trade him in for dupes! Or strong cards! Let's go. You can trade her in for Shana's or... Well, you can't trade her in for uh, the... The light girl, but you can't trade her in for Shana, which yep. is which is something. All right, onto the light. Oh, it's Copium Misaki. 
Masaka. Kopia oh, Masaka. Yes. So you know, yes. uh, all right, let's let's go on a tangent and talk about the the the, the main card, Masaka. Is that her name? Misaka, yeah, Misaka, the, the, yeah. the orb skin, 1%. Yeah. You can get one guaranteed, but the second one, you're going to have a roll, which is horrible because you need two. Right in the machine by 2%. 1%, Terrible. isn't it? it? It's 1%, bro. Yeah, she's 1%, but the next lowest is 2%. Yeah, so. Oh, she's a full percent lower than the the other one, what? the orb skin. She's the music, by the way, not the skin. Yeah, BJ. So she's the one that's yeah. twice as expensive. Yeah, so uh, this three turn system so you have one on your own one on your helper and then you need another one for your sub which is a pain in the ass because it's one percent obviously but you get a constellation prize with this card honoka mitsui it makes two columns Feels in delight so bad, man. that's 12 orbs on seven by six which is exactly how much you need the light brick which is nice because misaka makes you a seven by six that's yeah this whole thing it starts as a seven by six but now which is fine. she's just strictly worse in damage you actually have to mash the columns, which is... Not even strictly worse. She's, like, in a league of her own in terms of, like, that. Like, yeah. Technically, it's four 7Cs. You can give her the Brick SA, but then she only has two SB. Which, which is, yikes. Awful. I mean, you can't put a Sys Void on it. Man. Yeah, that's the one saving grace of this yeah. card that makes her somewhat usable, is she has an L. Like, a super L, so yeah. she can clear two turns. However, only one color, so that's also bad, because your Brick is light. Also, her... Her voice awakening is skin crawling when you press it. I oh, let's find it. it. Let's find it. What's her name? Honoka? Honoka, yeah. In before you don't have it, bro. No, I have it. Mm. Oh, let me turn on my volume. Full volume. Blast this. Ow. That's it? No, right. <laughs> I was expecting something worse, but all right. Uh, I don't know. I think it's awful. I find it grating as hell. Yeah. But... Uh, active is Enhanced Orbis. That's actually decent, because, you know, It's not bad, because but... one, of, one of this leader's weaknesses, one of Misaka's weaknesses is that she doesn't have a lot of good ways to get OE on the board. Hey, you know there what is good? Halloween Paimon, which you don't have. Paimon, which I don't have. Yeah. You can also use, like, a bunch of Alexanders, but then you gotta yeah. give other stuff up in its place. But Final Fantasy bad. is also getting that new equip of SB and Rainbow OE twice on the card, so... Correct, yeah. yes. So, it's not bad. Uh, leader skill, don't don't even do it. Don't don't touch the leader don't skill. Don't do it. Yeah. No, don't do Equips? it. Pair with another card that we'll get to soon. Yeah. If you have to. Um, Honoka's Cad. Uh, this, this equip is... Um, oh, this is Katamatsu. Farming. Katamatsu, but... This equi yeah, this is Kama Katamatsu at home. Katamatsu... Is... No, 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 it's better. It has a skill boost. It's... Yeah, Katamatsu is at home now. Yeah. <laughs> they, they should buff this Katamatsu when it comes back. Actually, uh, this card is actually quite good. Quite yeah. good, because void all dark damage. We use this yeah, at this... least 20 times in 3 carries, because a lot of spawns are dark. Yes. So. If you want to cheese if Lucifer, you do solo, if you do the yeah. solo Shivadra swiping for Accelerator Dungeon in this collab, you use this mm, yeah. because it voids the turns where he's got VDP and the 99% shield because he's dark. Yep. So if you want to cheese any, SR1 or Lucifer, you use skill yeah, issue. Any, use this. Any card that ever says void a type of damage for X number of turns, especially if it's three or more, will always be good. Yeah. Um, right, A tier. Yeah, this A -tier. card is A tier. Yeah, for, yeah. for this equip alone, pretty much. And it's copable for Masaka, so yeah. Nah, we're well. We're we next card is the the card that we're using for. Masaka. Oh, Masaka! I didn't know she was in a seven star. I said better get one. Misaka, but, Misaka, but small. Yeah, Masaka yeah. at home. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So this is the people used as their leader for pairing with the this bigger the, Masaka. This is the pair lead for Masaka, so you yeah. don't have to have three of them. Yep. So this is 16x. It's 16x is kind of sad, but Misa the other Misaka makes up for it. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you get more damage on this one, I believe. But and uh, this one is yeah. a full cleric and one turn of fusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad because five turns it's like uh, B planner, but uh, it's short. It's not bad. The only yeah. the only problem is you get a little shafted because if you hit consecutive spawns where you need like fusion cleric, fusion cleric then you, you get owned because it's only one turn of fujin so i mean you can't clear yeah. it one and then fujin the next floor you have to like do it then stall then do it then stall then do it then stall and this team's not that tanky yeah so it's fair. with index it becomes a little better but it's not that tanky so yeah 
the other really benefit good. again is that this card is a five turn cooldown, so, so it's very yeah. good to hair to throw things on top of uh, uh, the equip. That's the pretty good. Okay. Yeah, full it's blind okay. and light rose, and that's pretty full good. Full blind and light rose, and it makes and it changes light, light. Which, yeah. um, as it turns out for Misaka teams, is an extremely relevant thing because yeah. you want as many of your hard hitting cards to be as light as possible. As light as possible. <laughs> Jake W. Yeah. Where my where my shiny baddie equip enjoyers at? Where my Ultraman orbs get nice one Misaka, by the way, are you poor? Yep. Um, Only one. Oh, true. <laughs> Street pianist angle. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, She's but okay. Question, I why would, would you... In... No, why would you not pair Misaka with herself? Like, if you have two, can you just run full Misakas? Uh, she has no plus combos. Does she need plus combos? If you're gonna spam her and you, you have corpse. five, yeah, you... you, mm. you not enough, bro. You don't get enough. All right. You only then. get like you only get like four corbs per brick. Yeah, that's without true. Plus combo, you lose to like minus three combos. You don't hit ten C, which you need to hit. Oh, we go back to the base. How many oh, yeah, sure. pluses she gives? Uh, it's four, I believe. Yeah, that's not bad. No, three. It's three. Three. It's three so. Oh, I mean, wouldn't yeah. there be better leader than her? Because she doesn't look that good in terms of like awakenings and shit. Uh, I mean, when we get uh Final Fantasy, that light guy whatever his name is light warrior of light or whatever his name is is probably better than this girl i believe yeah uh but uh for now she's the best we have because there might be things that are like on par with her uh but she's not bad because no she's 16x that's well like as no as bulk as so it bad does. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter, because Misaka is tanky enough, and you're yeah. obviously using a shield active, so... I'd say, like, that equip She's pulls it up to bottom She's of A. Tier. Bottom of A. She's A tier, yeah. Like I said, this this card is mostly carried by the equip and yeah. the fact that it pairs with the good Misaka. Yeah. And I will also say, I'm sick of hearing over people overhype Misaka. I don't think this card is that good. We'll, we'll talk about uh, it when we get to her. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it, but I, I think people are overhyping this card very hard. Okay, next is Index. Now, this is a good card. Mm. Let's take I a know look. from like a glance, it doesn't look that good, but this card has so much utility. It's very mm. strong. No, she's really good, and I was like, holy, this, this is Christmas cell guy at home. Resists. You have two full resists. You can either have 6 SB or 4 SB and literally resist everything that's not cloud tape on one card that also has, like, what is that, like mm. 75 or 60% hard OE? That's 80%. 80%, yeah, yeah, sorry, 80%, yeah. And if you don't want the third resist or the six skill boosts, you can also full hard OE. Yeah, that's, no, this card is wildly good. Like, this, this is also, is this is good. looping healing. That's this so good. good for That's this card so also good. good for Misaka. Because, yeah. You know how um, many cards need looping healing? All the brick teams. A lot. All, all the brick, the brick teams. teams. Literally, literally all of them. Yep. Yes. That's why, uh, also 7x6. Uh, if you ever need to swap yeah. into something, this is also possible. So. This is true. The yes. utility her is her like is crazy. The utility her is like god awful, but her utility is absolutely bonkers. Actually so, nuts. Yeah. yeah. Um, Let's move yes. on. Uh, is... church. Sure. Uh, this equip is awful, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> For five turns, recover uh, 40 extra max is not bad. There is a world where you would use this active skill if, like, you needed to tank hits and clear a, uh, an awakened binder or an unable to. Oh, that's not even a full cleric. It's oh, no, not. It is. No, it is. It is. Well, yeah, if you needed to cleric something and then also recover your health because you got bound. So, so specifically for, like, a farming purpose. Yeah, this card specifically. Would be okay. But that's going to be very niche, so yeah. I don't think this really counts for much. Mostly this card is like S tier for the yeah, best form. S. Well, it would be low S if it's S, but it is S. No, I definitely think it's like uh, mid S. It's sure. Pretty utility busted. So. Okay, next, Itsua. I don't think I have this, but she did. I, I don't <sighs> know where you would use this. I don't think this card is... Five pass, no damage. One turn of food? No, this is horrible. This the is horrible. Skill sucks. The active skill is a one turn. Uh, Void pierce. EDP pierce. Which is. And it gives you. Horrible. It doesn't even give you a row. Why can't it just give you a row, dude? No, no. Call. It, it call. Just gave you a row. Yeah, call. Yeah, call him. You're getting a call. Experience. Mod yeah. check. 
wouldn't it doesn't uh, do any damage it has no levitate it's got a super cross so maybe that's something you can give it a super l and then it has some utility i guess but like, no horrible fucking why if you, give it the, if you give it the second cross or the super l you get two sb there's no reason to use this horrible <laughs> horrible okay, so good. bad it's gonna go okay come on tsubaki i believe in you you can do it yeah i'll even press it for you now you have three vx oh there we go yeah progress um, no, no, this is decent. No, this is great. <laughs> no. This is okay. This, this saves it. Okay. This saves where it from I, being like F tier. <laughs> listen, where are my regular Nautilus enjoyers at? Regular? He's gonna get buffed Mod soon, isn't he? Like, all of a sudden uh, they're getting buffed. Did recently, yeah. 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 I, I forgot what it was, but he's definitely gonna get buffed soon. How would you say that? Freely Spear? Freely Spear? Freely. 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 Freedom. Freely. Aaron Yeager. Fruity spear. Freedom. A bit fruity with it. Alright. Uh, um. Money, yeah, green Killer, action. Sub. SB turns things to God or turns things to green. Yeah. SB Gone Killer those, is always going to do. I wish those two fingers were literally any other <laughs> awakening in the game, but true. I mean, you do get more time, so that's not bad. It's not. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. It's unironically a thing that regular, like as someone who's played probably more Nautilus than any other lead in the game, because he's my favorite one. Move time is a thing that that leader does not have a lot of. Mm -hmm, that is true. But yeah, I like the active. Um, uh, three turns of Witcher Sand. Okay. Yeah. This saves it from being F and moves it to like also, actually, bottom C. Also, actually, ain't even a bad thing either. Yeah, it's probably fine. It moves it to the bottom of C. Yeah, Somewhere. it jumps two the tiers just for this damn equip. The base form is absolutely god awful though. Yeah. It's absolutely, probably one of the worst cards in this. Like game. straight to F, it was the base form. <laughs> straight to F, if not for the equip being good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next is. Um. Kanza can cut. I have three of these straight to F. Kanzaki I hate Kauri. this. I yeah, hate this card. Yeah, well, all right, uh, We're no damage, three. no damage, no, no damage, not even love date, not even love date, no damage. Can technically have six SB, so in a non-levitating dungeon, it will do an okay amount of damage with a decent number of SB. That's no damage. Skill that makes your board seven by six, but there aren't that there... many dungeons that shrink your board outside of you. Late end game, which is where this card would be useless because no damage. Which is where it would be useless. Yeah, so yeah. the active skill is good for the dungeons that it would be useless in, and, yep. and yeah, you hate to see it. Uh, yeah. No like autofill. No autofill, no dude. Okay, this isn't bad because okay. it's double seven C. Why but is like... it a one turn haste, bro? Yeah. <laughs> one turn haste. One, one turn haste. Turn haste. Check. But it is seven by six, that so. Does, that, that, that active skill does do a lot yeah. of things in yeah. one active Great skill. Great active, but. Two turns of seven combo? Yeah. Well, that's actually decent. Two seven C's in a cloud? I mean, you know, that's yeah. Too. This equip saves it. Same thing with the undercard. This would be now, straight to F if it thing, wasn't for this equip. The funny thing about this equip is that the equip from earlier that made us put that dark light girl in B that has a 10 C and an SBR would actually make your card do more damage than this would. Yeah, because seven by seven and seven, that's two times two, that's four. Because four that's X four is less than five X, if you didn't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this just has the benefit of the a better active, active skill yeah. being slightly better. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's like um, bottom oh, and, C. And I guess the cloud. And I guess the cloud, but. Bottom of C? No? Sure, that yeah. sounds about fair. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't actually think this equip is that good, but it's, it's definitely usable. Well. It's definitely passable it's for better something. Better than the dark light girl that we have in D. So no, I'm looking at the increased combo by seven. That's actually useful sometimes. Yeah, that's actually very yeah. nice, especially for like a farming purpose with yeah. a one turn haste. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's move. On. Uh, Kazumi uh, Yoshida. I now, think this is a five turn full cleric. That in one turn uh, full enhanced, hundred percent chance for enhanced orbs, which is actually pretty good. A white paw, um, quite good. A very utility based card. Yeah. Uh, Put Alice's void, and you have cross. Um, mm. You can yeah, and you can super awaken another super L so that it clears like four turns of void or yeah of, of like assist void. No, like all the super awakenings um, are good is, are good on this one. Like are good. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly right. Um. And this card will, if there ever comes a time where they give some kind of utility awaken to the, the T, never, or utility latent to the T, then this will even become better because then it has every kind of utility awaken. Yeah. Now, if it had a Fua, it would be even funnier because then mm. you could take the like tape cloud tier. Cloud like, tape, like, classic. Very, very classic. Funny. All right. Uh, Perhaps uh, the most questionable latent they've ever made. Leader skill is, nope. Not good. Not good. But. Decent sub for uh, utility. 
and then the equip. It's not bad, but like. It's actually very good. Uh, this equip is actually very good. <laughs> two turn haste. I mean, it's uh, a spinner for wood and heal. That's... Well, it's a two turn haste as well. Oh yeah, two turn haste is it's good. Two turn but... haste with RCV and HP with with a cross, which is quite a bit of utility on one card. Yeah, if you don't have anything better than this, then this is pretty good. I have seen JP teams use this. I know this card gets used. I haven't used it personally myself. I know I quote JP teams a lot and then don't provide evidence, but I promise you this card does get used. No receipts? I see. I don't no have receipts. I make exactly. my own receipts. Source, source, bro, just trust me. Or yeah. source, uh, trust me, bro. wisdom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, yeah. the wood heel spinner is interesting. I mean, you could pull yeah. out a full board and, uh, if you have enough time. But yeah. like I said, my, dude, Nautilus Enjoyer is eating good. Yeah. In this collab. Uh, top of B. Sure, yeah. Mm, actually, I think she's maybe worse than the Dark Light Girl. Let's, but let's like see. in the equip in in equip state, but I think she's better than the Dark Light Girl in the base form. Yeah. Yeah, this girl came out. I think she's better than the Dark Light Girl in the base form. I think Dark Light Girl's active is kind of bad. Dark Light Girl's equip makes it better than her. Yeah, uh, in the middle of B, yeah. eight B tier sounds good. No, I think I think she should be above the Dark Light Girl in B tier. I think that's she, fair. I mean, she I does have two good forms, so that's better than she does. Dark I think the Dark Light Girl doesn't really have a second good form. I think her her base form. All right, next card. Good. We're we're brick pogging. We're pogging here. Hey guys. No, we're ooh, ooh, on this one. This is. This is another one where it's like... Hey guys, remember Karimi Chan? I don't know what Gung Ho's fetish is with doing this recently, but they love to give us these system cards that require like several copies of the card to actually be good and then not let you trade for them. Yep, it's three, um, not four, so it's that's better than nothing. Yeah. But Water Break uh, yeah. was missing a system card, and now we... No, it had Karimi Chan, no, but Karimi Chan was awful until they buff it, so... Now we're looking at this thing. But it will be it will be getting buffed yep. when uh, Kitty comes back. So But yeah, Kareem John's a midway. Yeah, this card is this card is good. There's also another card in Final Fantasy, like another blue brick card in that that makes this better, as mm. far as I know. So um cool. Uh yeah. This she's is Corp, good, so but again, good. she's she's good in like dupes. You need like three of her for it to actually be good. A minimum two if you were using it as helper, but minimum nah. two because you can pair it. Uh, let's look right. no no, go back and look at the leader skill and see if it's Bad or not? It's not. It's not awful, but it's, it's not, not like amazing. I mean, it's better than sixteen links, so and it's passable. Yeah. 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 All right. Equip. It's not bad. That's double cord. Oh, it's gravity. Yep. No, never mind. That's gravity. But it's thirty-five. Thirty-five turns. I mean, it is that's, thirty-five percent gravity. With that's a like, yikes. Uh, Double corbs? With, with two corbs and a skill boost, so. See, corbs are good if you need the combos, but otherwise they just slow you down on a brick team. They do. Actually, yeah. in terms of farming, they do slow you down. Yeah. But, uh, but no, it's still pretty good. Like, yeah. It's good. Uh, it's good. Again, this this card is probably S tier. Low S. I don't think it's better than it, index. But, it's yeah. probably, yeah, low S, but it is S tier. Yeah. I, would, I would rather have index than... Yeah, I don't have index, and I have two of these. The other thing is, uh, that's the wrong card, by the way. But, Oops. Um, that's not wrong. No, no, it's the wrong index. one. Hold up, go back to no, the main the wrong one. Um, that's the that's the exchangeable you just put up there. Oh. But um, yeah, the thing is the uh, you want the the fourth card from the left. There, yeah, right? I know, but that's, I'm just making sure. One. Um, right. but uh, the thing is, uh, index is better if you just get one, just one copy of Mayumi doesn't really do anything for you. That's like, true kind of useless if you get two of them cool you can probably make it work like some scuffed team but yeah nah feels kind of bad let's move All right, on next uh hikate mom can we have polone we, we have, have polone at home levitate Pallone. wow levitate that's doing so much levitate <laughs> it's literally a waste of 297 points levitating those two super l's actually moves, actually right? a waste of 297 plus points true yep it's like, the one nice thing about this card is eight it can skill have boosts. either eight skill boosts with and, and be unbindable or be unbindable and have six skill boosts. And with now, the, the tragedy thing. is that Polone is better because it has the haste on the active skill. And it has two turns of uh, voids. Yes, and it's a two-turn void. 
Uh, the only benefit that this has over Pallone is that it's, I believe it's a shorter cooldown by a couple of turns. Yeah, because um, Pallone is like 6, 8, 7, 8? Eight? Eight? Yeah. It has more turns of elves this way, too. I think Pallone is 7, yeah. So this yeah. is 3 turns shorter, and it enhances orbs. But in a lot of instances, especially right now, you would rather have the 2 turns of Fujin with the longer cooldown yeah. than the shorter cooldown with only 1 turn. Yep, so no, this is because definitely... That, that one turn is going to result in you having to stall a couple of turns on floors that will probably one tap you after a turn or two. Yeah, so, definitely good, but not as good as Pallone. It's good, it's good, but it's yeah. not like a must have. The yeah. uh, leader skill is skills? not good. It's no water foot? Trash. Let's move on. Unblindable full poison. That's actually pretty good. There's not a lot of cards to do. Fujin, Let me check these. Hands and water poison. orbs, 3x for water. Yeah, that's, that's good. And it turns you god, which isn't the least relevant thing ever. Oh, there's actually two. The uh, Saratobi's ninja thing, and Halloween Thurga. Rip Thurga. Oh yeah, there's a lot of cards that have this uh, this this combination. Like three there's or two, three or four. There. I, on on Illumina, yeah. there's like seven. There's, there's quite oh, wow. a few cards that have these. Mm, but it's not, bad. not all of them have two team RCVs paired yeah. with it. And not all of them. I think this is the only one that has this combination and turns your card god. Yeah. Which oh is yeah, definitely. Unique. Nice to have. Yeah. It is unique. Unfortunately, um, Team RCV is kind of doo doo compared so to Teal TPA. So where are we putting? Uh, this? top of A or maybe below the uh. The Probably little... a top oh, okay. of B, maybe. Mm -hmm. mm, I can see that. Yeah, top nah, of B. You know what? You can yeah. go bottom of A. Bottom of A is probably in the same ballpark as Little Misaka is. Mm, I think he's better than Little Misaka. I think she's worse. I'd rather have little Misaka. Uh, just yeah, like actually, I'd mm, rather have it. Equip dupes are but, probably better. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Bottom of A sounds right. good. Uh, uh, Marjorie Daw. Da da da. I mean, uh, this act is tape so is ganked, by the way, but uh, <laughs> one turn delay and two turn. Uh, it's I'm actually sure, quite good. I'm sure that this active skill gives you some kind of like cheese in a farming dungeon. Yep. Def definitely funny, but I like the cloud tape. Getting sh one shot by something, and then you get to hit it for two turns. No, I'm talking about the cloud tape on the uh, awakenings. Oh, not, not, not many cards do that. We're not talking about the triple ten C with a gravity. Or no, what? garbage, garbage. Yeah, cloud yeah, tape so is where it's at. Technically, have six skill boosts, or yeah. you could give it the super L, and then it can take the L on or the, yeah. the L void. Like you don't want is... damage on this card. It's not it's not bad. It's also a seven by six lead, which is also good. Not. Not irrelevant, but it is not really that. It, seven by six is not really what it used to be. Yeah. So, um. It's used yeah, for swapping. Not, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier. There, there are better things you could be using to swap than this. Yeah, um. But... Next, equip. Uh, not bad. Nah, a three turn haste. That's not. Average terrible. cooldown for three turn haste. It's always eighteen. Awakenings are like fine. It's fine. Yes. So. Yeah, uh, I'd say yeah, A tier. This is like, alright. A tier. Nah, no? I mean, this card's probably like B tier. Top of B, then. Probably top of B, yeah. yeah. I, I can see you, just not a lot. Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's move on. Leonhardt, Saijo. Uh, Leonhardt. Look, uh, no damage. Weird. No damage! He actually does a pretty surprise. It would surprise you how much damage this guy does if you give him like the tenth fucking seven C. Mm -hmm. He will actually hit. Like I've run this guy through UN one with Shana, and I know UN one's maybe not the benchmark anymore, but he does cap on main. And if you put like a, um, what is it a flamey, flamey bubbly? bubbly equip that turns his sub at red. He can actually get real close to the to the sub at cap with that equip. Mm, like, I don't nah, think nah. Bad. I, I mean, his active is what's make, what saves him from being garbage. Is good. It's a two turn VDP breaker with a forty percent shield for two turns. This is Halloween uh, Madu at home. Madu is the one with the shield and this is a very board. Halloween Madu at home. Yes. Um, like, I don't think he's bad. I I just think maybe you don't want to see this guy in dupes. I think ah, definitely not. Bad. Dupes of this is horrible. Uh, leader skills, meh. Let's move on. Yeah, leader skill is not good. He does work well on Shauna team. It's like so no utility, though. That's obvious. Um, his equip is... This is pogged. 
His equip is kind of cool. L and um, triple. Yeah, this is good. Good awakenings L overall. Triple team HP with a red OE, which is nice. And Great awakenings. Five percent shield for three turns, and a VDP bypass for three turns, which is which is a nice combination. Yep. It can help you kind of breeze through a couple of the earlier floors in some yeah. dungeons. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know particularly when or where I would use this equip. It looks good on paper, but, but yeah. I don't really know off the top of my head when or where this would be good. But Shiva I can Dragon? Guarantee that it is probably good for something. Something. We don't know what it is, but something. Uh, this this like... equip looks too strong to not be good for something. Yeah, I say like middle um, B. I know that's a very helpful and insightful piece of advice to give, but yeah. it looks too good to not be good for something. Like middle and B? I think the base form is like okay. I think this card it's... probably deserves to be in B. Yeah, I'm not saying middle B. Um, it can be used for like Shauna teams. Um, if you don't have, like, Red Kiori, um, this is an okay replacement. The main problem you have with this card, I think Mantastic brought this up in his video, um, is the main problem with his active is that the, the, the shield for two turns that comes with the VDP will overwrite any other shield loops that you have going at the time. Yeah, but... If you're running this, you don't need a shield loop. Well with other shield loops like Red Kiori, which is a problem. I mean, I don't Red run Mondu with shield loops either. Hard. Like, I'm not running Mondu with shield loops, so just plan your shit more better, <laughs> pretty much. Why would you run this in the first place? I'm, no, I'm talking like for a Shauna team. Oh, for Shauna. I, I don't know shit about Shauna. Shauna I don't know yet. Yeah, you would you would use like Red Kiori for Shauna. That's that's the main shield looper for that team. Can you use what's her name? Aaron? You can. But like, isn't Kiori pretty bad? No, Kiori's solid, bro. Yeah, but he's like, red, what was he got four red tacos on him. Ah, he's right, right, right. Two oh, skill books, crazy. though? Two skill books, though? With red Kiori, and with, um, Shauna, and if you pair him with the the guy, that the cleric guy that we'll get to soon, and with, um, like, the, uh, the pretty optimal team, yeah, this this guy's fine too. I don't honestly ran and run Madu but on Shaw, but use, yeah. Uh, that red guy that you just showed. I I don't have him. Uh, because Aaron? despite spending like 400 stones, I didn't get one. F. Uh, in any of the runs, so feels bad, man, for me. Yeah, it's in like if I did have him, he could be substituted for Kiori, but I think Kiori's better. He does more damage. I'd say like below the blue chicken B. Yeah, that's probably fair. Yeah. Alright, All right, next, next we have Erica. Um, another... Something I don't have. ...questionable or... Shauna sub. You could use mm. this for a Shauna sub, too. I mean, that's... That active skill is actually nuts, by the way. Oh, well, two turns of voice. Actually nuts. Mm, yeah, damn. All and time. No, that's great active. And you put L assist one? Yeah. No, that's a great sub. It's got a lot. It's no got damage. It's got the thing but... that spikes up your team. It's got the orb move time. It's got a two-turn Fujin. No. And it gives you jammer. No, so, levitate? Um, no levitate? No levitate in chat? No levitate in chat. F. <laughs> this is one of the ones where I don't really think it matters if it has levitate, because, like, realistically, if it's... you're using a Shauna team, then... And it doesn't need the damage. Your yeah. lead and your lead and your Shauna sub are all going to do, like, cap. And Shauna hits 8 billion sub and main, so it doesn't really matter. No cap. All right, uh, no leader cap, steel, 7 by 6. Meh. Sure, let's move on. Yeah, no. The, the 7 by 6 thing is cool, but yeah, not really super relevant. But you would use this for the active skill on a Shauna team, which is yeah. fine. Orochimaru from Naruto! Uh, Naruto collab! Let's go! Naruto, 10C with a tape, man. You love to see it. Oh, that's great. Uh, you know, Kiori at 10C and Cloud, but with HP, this is worse. Oh, yeah, and we got, a, we got a 10C with an SBR in this machine, too. Uh, active is... Cool. Sure, it's whatever. It's uh, whatever. Sure. Um, the problem with this equip... Uh, assuming you're gonna use it on a Shauna team, is that you don't really need tape. Uh, yeah, that's you get, true. You get tape from many, many, many other sources on your team, so no, it's overkill to There's have. also Morbius, the best tape. That's true. Alright, uh, I'd say like A tier? Maybe above Hakate? Yeah, it could go A tier. Go A tier. I think it belongs on top of A. There, there's no, she's be better. There's probably a couple cards in A that are better than this, but... She's 10C tapes. I do think she's better than Hanukkah, then. I think her base form is better than... And then Hanukkah. Yeah. But, I mean, that's uh, top of base sounds good. You could put her below her. I don't care. Nah, You're top tier list, right? Our tier uh, list. Masaki. You hate to see him. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know where you're using this guy. He looks one okay. One turn some research. Like uh, he looks okay adjacent on paper, 
But man, I don't know where he's getting used. You know how to make this card good? You take out the part where it says no skyfall. Yeah. You really do. <laughs> yeah. And you can assist them, technically. <laughs> technically. <laughs> yep. Uh, but sh no, no utility, pure damage, and no, no not even levitate. No damage with, like, no levitate. No levitate. No real utility. Like, <laughs> technically, with the super awakens, he can have utility. But, but no. But you lose the potential utility of 6 SB. Yep. I also, I want to just say this now real quick. I think cards with 6 SB are kind of not what they used to be anymore. The, the cool the base transform cooldowns of the stronger cards is getting lower and lower and lower. Except for you know, lab and event that they Donut. Out. Pardon? Except for like C Donut, Remdra. Except for like C Donut, but he's. I mean, to be fair, I hate to say this, he's kind of old now. No, that he's still great. Is, what, like he's old, old, but now. he's still great. He's still, he's still great, sure. Yeah. But you don't even. The cooldown's not that high. Twenty seven. That's relatively high. Base, right? You know what else has a long cooldown? Atelier. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> Alright, uh, leader yeah. skills. Nah. Cope, but... Nah. Uh, That's... Masaki's CAD. Uh, this is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's SP amazing, full jammer. Okay. That's, if you don't have Samurai 3, sure, this is better because yeah. team HP. Exactly. If you don't have a Samurai 3, this is your, like, tragic replacement, but. No, this is better because team HP. <laughs> but I'm it sure is tragic if you don't have it. Surely we'll vote the samurai into the player's choice god fest, and then you'll be able to roll them there, right? Surely. To be fair, that is one of the best pantheons. <laughs> that series. It is. I think it's actually the best. The pantheon. best pantheons, except like you know, Diochan or Antares. GFE pantheons is part of it, then maybe not. But I think it is the best pantheon that comes out of the regular rare egg machine. Yep. All right. Uh, so placement. Okay. This guy. I don't think he's got. I do. I think he belongs in like C or D. Yeah, top good. of C sounds I think he's good. Quite bad, unfortunately. Top of C sounds good because of the just because for this equipment. <laughs> That's the only yeah, thing that saves it. Yeah. yeah, he's definitely better than the blue green girl, but I don't think he's that much better than her. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Still, uh, still, Magnus. So I was looking for such shit the other day, and uh, his his, his equipment actually showed up, and I was surprised I have it. So let's look at the base. Right. His lots of cross are actually both not terrible. They're not terrible. Okay. The thing people sleep on with this guy, dude, his leader skill is actually not bad. Oh yeah, 19x and two, two million. He's, he's 24x with one cross, and he scales very quickly. No, he like, uses a shield dragon. Blue, Blue Fagan, I think, is a better multi. Hell, I think even what's his name, Tarragon, or the 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 guy. No, but those are rainbow crosses. Before. This is just straight they are fire. Crosses. This is a strictly fire cross lead. Yes. It, it, you're not fitting many of those. <laughs> There aren't that many good cards for it, I agree, but it is worth mentioning that his leader skill is actually not bad. No, it's good for Shiva Dragon. If you don't have Leo, Jonathan, or Kami, you can cope with yep. this. <laughs> it's not, a, not an easy cope, but yeah, but, you could. Yeah, definitely um, possible. Uh, also, if you don't have Jonathan or Kami, just wait for Christmas, and then you truth. just get X Selene. Get Kami. Way better, but, or Selene, yeah. Um, uh, let's move on. Yeah, um, That's good. Good stuff. His, his active skill is also quite good. Yeah, decent utility. His, yeah. his awakenings are... He's got a funny amount of crosses, so if you need yeah. ever, if you ever wanted a card to clear blind skyfalls, there you go. The only question I have: Why is his super awakened cross not F, a super cross? F, yeah, tragic, tragic. I mean, realistically, you're taking the skill boost anyway, but yeah, whatever. tragic. Uh, the equip, his equip is this is great. This is fucking crazy. By this the is way. crazy. <laughs> like, is fucking crazy. By the way, I, I was so using like, it on my team. Let me show you the team I was making. This uh, AU and three C tuna. I had planner on Karen, and then I was I like, "Is there a better?" This card is a must. This equip is a must-have. But, but it's really good. If you have any future plans to play Shauna, this, this is, is a must-have. It yeah. becomes a must-have. Turning your cards red subat is turning your cards to have your primary damage colors sub attribute is becoming more and more and more relevant as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. And a skill boost and 80% red OE with a team HP, dude, that is fucking nuts. Great for C-Tona, exactly what I was using now, it for. Now, the main problem with this card is once we get Clive from Final Fantasy, I'm going to start my Clive rant now. Um, once we get Clive from Final Fantasy, the spinner part of this active does not matter because that's what Clive does. Um, the rest of the active skill, that's good. The rest of the three turns of bypassing VDP and the three turns of combo count—that's really nice, especially at the start of uh, the start of UN5 when you get like turbo combo debuffed for three turns. 
because that is unironically something that Shauna has a problem with because you don't actually get that many combos. Paired with Clive, I think I think Clive is plus three or plus four, which is good. But you know, you'd, it'd be nice to be able to override it so that you can have a consistently good board. All right, and uh, always hit the fancy. Yeah. yeah, placement. I say like won. low A or top. Uh, no, low S or top A. What do you think? I'd say low S. I think he deserves low S. Both forms are good. Worse than passable. the blue brick chick. Shauna's though. definitely a meta defining lead, and this is part of Shauna's teams. He definitely deserves S. You would you would like to have one. Yeah, you definitely want to chase one if you didn't have it. Right. Okay, we're in the tradables now. We're in the eight stars. Ah, uh, yes, finally. The good cards, except for that Matsu one red dark card. Yeah. Yes. So this Matsu is Yashima, This is Grenerve at home. home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jinx. Yeah, Jinx Grenerve at home. All right, so uh, yeah, from Arcane, bro, you owe me a soda. Tw and damn, um, twenty-five, uh, twenty-five hundred cooldown. It's it's better than Grenerve. <laughs> Kick W. That's true. Also, this guy's transform active is actually disgustingly Dude, overpowered. Ah, yeah. Uh, two Amazing. Turns of void damage. Two turns of void damage is basically just a till two turn haste. So That's for for Kurtobi, you only had to hit, need to hit twenty-five now. Before you need to hit twenty-seven to get Kurtobi to haste Grenerve, but now you just need to hit twenty-five to get to Kurtobi. Yeah, exactly. It's full circle now. Love to see it. However, then, this card is strictly yeah. worse in terms of leader skill. Let me compare it. I think I pulled they, it up the other day. Yes. Yeah. Oh, la la, where is, the hell is my... I believe his leader skill yeah, gives slightly less HP, and he... Okay, uh, let me let me do my quick comparison. So, this is Grenerve and Kurtobi. You got 22.73x EHP, 84% shield, and plus 4 combos, 5 million food. That is worse? No, no, this is worse, because Tatsuya Kurtobi is just 20.91. That too is yes. actually quite a bit of a difference. However, and you get it, least it does, less yeah. combos and one fua. However, the situation where you use Tatsuya is if you need the active, because the active is that clears up a spot for you to put a two-turn fusion. If that makes sense. Yes, there is that. The other thing that makes him uh, and the seven or six. better yeah. than Grenerve is that uh, Tatsuya hits an eight bill cap, where Grenerve hits six, I believe. Is it? I thought Grenerve's eight. eight bill. Or is Grenerve eight? I can't. I can't remember which one Grenerve is. No, if I thought it was eight. Hold up. Is Grenerve eight? Maybe Grenerve's eight, and I'm tripping. It is eight. You're tripping. Oh, okay. So he does the same damage. Grenerve. Okay, but yeah. The only, the other benefit that this guy has, the Grenerve seven by six. Seven by six is yeah. your board. Which is and a spike, which is and a spike, which is you're basically strong. and he he does all that on the same turn. So basically, if you turn, you need a spike or like really big damage. You use this. You can also use more than one of him on a team. Oh yeah, he does make you a spinner, so you can optimize your boards with him. Yeah. No, he, he doesn't make you a spinner. I'm trolling. He doesn't. Um, no, he does not. Yeah, so he doesn't make you orbs. But if you have like a spinner or some way to generate orbs elsewhere, then he's fine. You guys know uh, Zedokaiba? He was playing a team for AUN3 with three Tatsuyas. It was so scuffed, but it was funny. It Check out his video. It. Definitely cleared it. it. Took a while, and he definitely cleared it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Overall, if you equip. don't have Grenerf, this is like a must-have. You have Kurotobi. This equip fucking blows, by the yeah. way. But the base form, the base form justifies it, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, VDP, cross, meh, meh. I like the looping yeah. combo active. It's only one, which is wild. Where but it's looping where spike. Where my Lachoa enjoyers at? Moderator it, check. It is a looping spike though, which is not bad. It is t technically yes. If yeah. you have a card with low enough cooldown, sure. But um. Overall, yeah, definitely yes. Overall, not good. Yeah, it is whatever. Um, I think this card probably belongs in like A. Top no, a, and I think like best, bottom, bottom S. Like, no, I think it's better than the blue. blue. No. Only oh. better than the red red guy in us. Yeah, I think you know what? Sure, I think it might be better than Misaki too, or the the blue girl. I think it might be better than her too. No, I'm talking about S, not having, a. Just having one of this guy is like far more useful than just having one or two of the blue girl. That's true, because Kurtobi's still meta. So if you ever need, Kurtobi like, is probably still the best lead in the game. Yeah, like back to even after this collab, even after Hello Kitty, even after Final Fantasy, even after whatever it was JP got like Marvel rerun. Kuratobi is still the best lead in the game. Okay, so uh, back to Grenerve. So if you run Grenerve and there's a 7x6 debuff or a 5x4 board, you need to run something else to counteract it. But if you run this card, you, you can run a 2-turn Fujin active, which is what Grenerve struggles in. So, yes. Yeah, so this is... They have their, a, they have their a, pros a, and cons. Yeah. It just depends which one you want to use for the dungeon. If you don't have Grenerve and do a Kuratobi, this is like SS. You should get this. 
And it's tradable. Yeah. It's tradable. Just it need to roll tradable. five times in Dengeki like, and you have it. If you roll like 150 stones in this machine, you'll probably roll enough Garbo fodder yeah. to be able to trade for one of these. Bro, so... this thing is 35 stones. If you just roll five times, you have it. It's that easy. It is pretty much that easy. I mean, would you actually want to do that? I mean, probably no, not. No, probably not, because you'll get better also, shit. Also, funny but... enough, you know, he's a higher hit rate than Misaka, so odds yeah. that you roll him are higher. Yep. Yep, I'll put him in above the uh, blue brick draw. Purely because Final Fantasy has one coming up, so it's not that unique anymore. That is correct. And Karimi's well, getting buffed, the, so. one, the one from Final Fantasy goes with this girl to make her better. Yeah. They get put on the same team. They do different things. Still the I still think mm. the, the girl from Final Fantasy is the lead for this blue swiping team. Oh, it's not a system, I see. Huh. Yeah. I don't know, I still think this dust has more use because Crypto Beast, yeah, you know. It's good, he's good. He and Equip is funny. Let's move like on. I said, anything that can be used for Grand Earth Kuratobi teams immediately makes it a good card. Yep. Um, okay. Now oh, we're on to the, the funny card that everyone oh, wants, boy. including me. I only have one. I do I need yeah, another one. I, I got I got two of them, thank god. Y fuck you. My first I, I'm five kidding. spin on this machine, I saw this card and I was like, cool, I'm buying the orb skin. BGM for <laughs> me. I'm buying the music skin. I don't care if I roll more than two. I'm buying it right now. I yep. can use it. All right, I and bought I it so I can roll the stones and cope for it. Like 15 minutes with it. You'll love to see. Classic. That. All right, so wh this why she is good? First up, okay. seven by six. That, that yeah, that's the that's the main part. Of it. Base, which if you've never seen it before, seven by six in a transform card, it will keep the seven by six even after it transforms. That's important yep. to remember. Uh, then you transform. It's oh, also worth mentioning. It's a two-turn haste when it transforms. Oh yeah, so that's good too. Similar to Shiva Dragon, where tra and Kuratobi, where transforming one will haste the others. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't need to use something else okay. to get it back up, like yeah, Mikaji. Mrs. Misaka, Mrs. Brick Arena. Uh, double go. Brick Levitate. You can cut out everything else. Double Brick Levitate. That's already an S tier. That's already enough. Yeah. But S, it has, yeah. Like, how many six rows to go with it and a Corb? Six rows. So, uh, you can put Fujin Lane on this if you're not DDCing it. No, wait, no, you can't even DDC it. I'm, I'm trolling. I you're you're putting. Um, the, so there's a few important things to remember about why this card is good. A, it has no 7C or 10C multis on it, which means just the Brick Swipe is enough. Um... Okay, so first of all, you might think the active is bad because just middle row? That's trash. But on 7x6, there's two middle rows. Exactly. On 7x6, which is what she makes your board by default pre-transform, is going to give you two white bricks in the middle of the board. So I didn't realize that uh, when we were talking about Feral, the red Feral, because she also does Central Row, and I was like, Central Row? That's trash. But no, if you're doing 7 by 6 that's a brick. Too she, bad she's trash. She's brick. Yeah, too too bad, bad she's Feral's good. trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean Super VDP on my brick card isn't good? That's crazy. Yeah, try it. But, um, VDP card, let's go. Let's go. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, so the other important thing about Misaka to remember is that she has two. She's got a sub and a third attribute. Yep. Which means, with the amount of damage she has and the levitate, doesn't matter how many combos you hit. Just as long as you swipe that white brick and you outweigh the number of debuffed orbs on your board with your plus enhance orb thing, you swipe that. She will basically hit the cap, the 2.14 billion cap on main sub third attribute. Yep. So even though she doesn't cap break herself, she consistently hits 6 billion on herself and you're going to be using 3 of her on a team, which means a guaranteed 8 or yeah, 18 billion. Hey, you know what's even card. crazier? The void pierce on the active. That's like giving Shiva Dragon a void pierce. Exactly. It's also so like, it's, it's also wild. Pierce on the active, which means you only need to cover the Fujin half of the trifecta. Which you have on the uh, Corb if you're putting it. So you exactly. just need attribute absorb. Yeah. Now I a lot of people are are giving this card more credit than it deserves. Like this card this this card has a lot of problems. As mm. a, you have a terrible RCV multi. Like by that I mean you don't have one. Mm. So if you pair with Little Masaka, you have like a 2x RCV multi, which is better than nothing, but your effective HP is massive. And most of your HP comes from an HP multiplier, not a shield. Yep, so you can't use auto-heals. So, yeah. so you, you, you're, uh, you can auto-heal with a card like Index, which is why Index is so good on a mm -hmm. Misaka team. 
because you could auto recover your HP, which gets over RCD debuffs and helps you compensate for the lack of RCD. The problem with that is now you have little Misaka, three Misakas, and an index. You have two slots on your team open to cover mechanics in the dungeon. Now, I mean, you've covered your cleric already. This is currently like the fastest UN5 swipe leader because the mechanics that little Misaka and the regular Misakas on your team and the RCD from the index give you is like almost enough to just cover all the mechanics in the dungeon alone. Almost. Oh. Almost, but you can compensate for what's left in the dungeon with the the two things that you have open. Which is like shield loop and attribute absorb? Which is the shield loop, basically, and like... Attribute absorb, because you don't have attribute. attribute absorb. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty much it. Right? So... Yeah. Yeah. So so this card is is very finicky in the way that it works. The team has to be very precise. There's no room for error. Yeah. The one benefit that this team has is there is no room for error, but it's hard to make an error. Mm -hmm. Because all you're, you're doing is you're pressing the button, swiping the board. Swiping the button, you have a shield. Swipe the board. And you're when you're pressing your shield button when it's off cooldown. Like yeah. that's that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the problem is if you if you run into a dungeon like, some of the lower dungeons in UN, like, not UN5, have mechanics that you can't cover reliably with those two slots that you have open and with the cooldown that Little Misaka has is the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. CD equip after we talk about. Good, but worse than nil. Worse than nil. Yeah. How we know. It is two turn hangs, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you... This card yeah. deserves S tier. Like, yeah. it's probably no, I think it's bottom index. SS. No, I'd also put it in bottom yeah. SS. You sure? I don't think so. No, I don't think this card is on par with Shauna. Shauna is way too flexible and versatile in what it can do. It's very similar to Kiritobi, where it's a very strong lead, the multipliers are very high, but the sub pool is absolutely absurd. There's like 50 cards that work for the leader, and you can interchange them to plug in with the dungeon. This card is not interchangeable. This card has about 10 cards that actually work. And if those 10 cards don't work for the dungeon, you can't do the dungeon. I mean, to be fair, that clears most dungeons. Um, I mean, the problem is not having a double cap. Because if there's defense, it's higher yes, than that. If then... the dungeon requires a cap break, then you cannot clear the dungeon. You just yeah. don't hit enough. Mm. I mean, Shockingly, like, weirdly enough, you'd think it would be, but there's actually not that many good light brick cards. Same. Funny enough, the metal Polux that we talked about earlier does work. But then um, you can't run Little Misaka, because she's... No, you can't. No, you can't. You, you mean, you no, can you can't. Never mind. You can sub... sub yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this card deserves SS tier, but I, I think it's probably close... But um, I think it's actually also worse than Index, because uh, I think Index is like an insanely useful and like versatile card. Where I think Index not, will outlast her. This is but... the other thing that's also I think Index will also outlast her. Yes, yeah. but um, I also think the other thing with this card is you got to remember this card is like only good as a lead. Mm, yeah. And like paired with itself, it's it's not good in any other circumstance. It's not versatile in the slightest. Shauna deserves SS. I know we're not there yet, but Shauna deserves SS because. It's versatile in, like, a bunch of different ways. The, the, the team comps, the leads that it can pair with, the subs that it can use, the damage that it deals, the tankiness that it has, the amount of dungeons that it can clear because of all that versatility make it an SS tier. I think this card doesn't have all that going for it. It's got a smaller sub pool, the, so the dungeons that it can clear are worse. It is, like, on par with the tankiness, um, but its shield loop cards are worse. It has very not good RCV. Not that Shauna does either, but once we get Clive, kind of solves that problem. Um, How about this, then? Let's compromise. Let's add another tier in between them. S plus. Sure. There you go. S plus, sure. You can just change... Yeah, I was going to say, we don't need an F. You're right. We do not S need plus. an S. Let's change S that. Plus. Just name it Misaki. Yeah, Misaki tier. I know that has nothing to do with the letter S, but just name it Misaki. True. There's an S in the name. 
All right, there we go. No, I think she's like really relevant and really good. But in terms of outlasting, I do think Shauna's better. <laughs> so, there we go. I, I think, um, yeah, I I think people, like, I think the cards, don't get me wrong, I think the card is very, very Really strong. good, yeah. I, I just, I don't think it's as game-breaking as everyone seems to be hyping it up to be. I mean, it's so, not going to break the game. I mean, it's just really good. <laughs> like, it's, it's just it's good. good. Like, it's a very, very strong lead, but it's not, like, yeah. um, it's not the best thing since, like, Kuratobi. Yeah. That's probably Shauna. Cat mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, Actually, definitely Kurtobi is still better, but like, Kur not for you and Vi. Also, still better than Shauna. Yeah, but... not for you and Vi specifically. <laughs> so... Yeah, Oof. that's why I didn't change but it to the, at the triple other, S tier. The other thing is, Misaki is only hyped. There's like a bazillion leads that can do you and five now. Misaki is only hyped because she can button it. Swipe it, you mean? Well, yeah, it's a button. You press the button and you swipe. But you that's swiping, button, swipe, not buttoning. Button, button, buttoning is button. the lasers. <laughs> All right, oh, true. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a hang thing. Yeah, but, okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, this, this yeah, is fine. You can swipe UN5 with it. Uh, first time we're using... First time we're using minuses or pluses, but I think this yeah, deserves it. So, yeah, we'll make an exception for Misaki. Yeah. The other thing that's important to remember... Or Misaka. Is, uh, I just misspelled it. Misaka, sorry. If you don't <laughs> uh, my, get multiple pluses this card, if you don't roll dupes, she's useless. Yo, yeah. This is one my my biggest issue. I don't have a second, because I, I, I bought the BGM, and I don't have a second. So if I don't roll a second, she's unplayable. You can use Hanukkah, but it's still unplayable. So accessibility-wise, Shauna beats it out of the park, because... You just Shana need to roll it five times. This thing out of the park. Shauna is the most easily accessible top tier lead that we've had in a very long time. It doesn't even cost money. Gurutobi just cost yeah. thirty dollars, and that was technically, crazy. Technically, the last free lead that we had on Shauna's power level was when we got that free roll for C Tona and Royal Nut. Uh, yeah. Royal Nut. That was essentially the last time that we got a technically top tier lead for free. Yeah. Amazing. Isaka, you can pay forty dollars and she's still not a top tier lead unless you roll another one. Same with Kira. Well, no, Kira Toby's not really the same. Oh yeah, you got you guys remember Zero Kaiba again? He spent like seven hundred stones or something, and he didn't get a second Isaka, and he wails like a lot. So yeah, dude, respect I was my brother. Close to that to try to roll a second Kira Toby and didn't get one, but turns out that having one was fine. I just because I got you to pair with if I need it. Same. I only um, have one Kuro. Yeah. But, okay. Next. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. Kami Joe. The orb, the skin. orb skin. Guy. Yes. So Misako is the music, he's the orb. Yep. Um, so he's interesting, but he's not worth $20. Definitely not worth $20. Uh, no, he isn't. But I mean, if you're buying things, you might as well buy him over a regular bundle. No, because... if you're changing Misaki, uh, Misaka, roll and buy bundles first before you buy this. If you're buying bundles. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you're probably going to um, get it. Yeah, make this the last bundle you buy. But if yeah. you don't get them, you can probably get them and it would be okay. Um, yeah. Why he makes you <laughs> thorn orbs in o only when he transforms. His post-transform active, I'm sure there's some lore reason it, based on the anime that he does that. Neither of us have watched but it. But it just yeah. looks stupid. It's like Lloyd changing light, everything to light attribute. That doesn't even make sense lore-wise. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I'd, 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 he's from Railgun, right, or Index or something. I don't even know. No. I'm, I'm, I don't. Okay, I, I'll, I'll make people mad if I start guessing what he's from. So I'm not gonna do that. But he's I, from I Dengeki Buko, Bunko the anime. True. Yeah. Okay. Well, sure. They can hate you instead of me now. I don't give um, a fuck. <laughs> true. Uh, all right. Um, uh, yeah. Seven turn cooldown. No skyfall. Two turn. Good active, but full pierce mm -hmm. everything and then replaces the board. I mean, you get a refresh, so that's useful for like Yang Guifei fuckery. Hey, look at that! He can get rid of the he can get rid of the thorn orbs on your board. No, 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 that's six, seven turns. You're not getting that shit up by the time thorns I mean, are gone. He can do it on like he can do it on like Dark Valkyrie. Mm, yeah, that's true. UN five or I think it's you on five, right? Four. Four? Yeah, yeah. you on four. That's right. That's uh, leader skill. This is actually great because it's just straight match of leader skills. Is it stackable it is, for each yeah. orbs? So it it's does, like yeah, just literally match orbs and you yeah. get you get a stacking leader skill. You guys remember Elzer? The only problem is it it doesn't stack very hard. Like that yeah. Multiplier one point two is not really anything. But you guys... if you fully ten C a board, then sure. You guys remember Elzer? It's that, but better. <laughs> yeah. Pretty like much. Elzer is getting buffed soon, is it not? 
Gonna already get already get buffed. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe yeah, artists might Elizer, come back soon. The other thing yeah. is, Elizer has a higher chance to get buffed than, than this card does. Yeah. So, cool. Also, Elizer is a cutie. So. No, it's a good. This guy, looks like a, this guy looks like a bozo. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a PCG voting. So. I remember, remember when I watched someone's video about this. I remember this guy is the main character of whatever anime he's from. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. And the reason that he makes thorns is because he like hurts himself when he uses his power. Oh, like My Hero Academia? Sure. Yeah. yeah. True. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think this card is particularly that good. Yeah. So. I I I, I don't know why I would use him. It's... He doesn't have good damage, and even if he did, he doesn't cap break himself. He has oh. two fucking finger awakenings. All right. So this may be a bit of a spoiler, but me and Darkrai are working on a tutorial team share a one thing this can be a good lead for it it can that is yeah true. Well, subscribe to our subscribe to my youtube so you can check catch a video when it comes out uh, yeah this is true. unconditional our, three colors so as long as you're matching three colors this is great when my lazy ass finally gets around to recording Wait. it with you yeah yep um okay right. equip this is nice because cloud tape that's literally Ooh, it <laughs> finger enjoyer Jammer, jammer, yo, remember when you had to use a jammer skyfall active to undo poison surge in like Arena yes. 5? Classic. God, never forget, never forget using like Fenrir Viz. Aw, oh, yeah, he he was OP Swarm when it came out. Some cringe like that. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't think this card is that good, which is kind of a shame because yeah. he's a twenty dollar orb skin. Um, I think he's somewhere around B, somewhere where that red green guy is, and B is probably around there. No, he's probably better than the blue dark chain. Sure, Give yeah. me top of B then. Yeah, top of B sounds good. I don't know. I'm probably missing something with this card. I don't know what it is, but he wouldn't be twenty dollars for no reason, right? Definitely not twenty dollars. Yeah. Do that. Miyuki Self Thorn. They're, no, they're gonna add. You win six. There's gonna be like ninety nine term Dorns on the first floor. And then that's why that's where you use them. You self thorn, you overwrite. True. That, that that's um, that's that's the key tech. That, they, that's well, the tech. Add some kind of mechanic where matching thorns gives you a skill. Because like the only other card that makes thorns is Sigurd, right? Thorn Skyfall. Uh, I think there's a couple of thorn cards. There's some nail cards, thorn cards. Um, I don't. Yes, <laughs> yes, Sigurd. Let's move on. I, I know he does. I've trolled you with him before. But, yeah, I've told myself of it many times. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's I, move I think on. there's a couple of thorn cards, but yeah. Um, Miyuki Shiba. Oh no, this card, this card is amazing. You know why? I tell you, when she, whenever she gets buffed. So, uh, but I'm gonna use it with pre-buff Atelier because the buff doesn't exist yet. You know why this is good? True. Remember Rafne and Alteria? They're both trash because they have no skill boost, or like or close to none. And Rafne has that shitty. 15 turns of downtime where you have to match rainbows to reduce it to like seven turns yeah that, that is like that, that makes atelier gameplay like so bad yeah. so scum and you know why this is better it's that but with five skill boost two sp yeah. and the, the l late i mean yeah the sp late yeah, nice. you know what's even funnier it's the fast spinner, not not the slow spinner, the fast spinner. So more yeah. skill issue for me. That's not a problem. I get my orbs faster, but for other Italian players, start getting used to it. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall I mean, damage. Technically, technically, this card technically. has the same problem. I know, I know it's technically its main use is not rainbow. Like that's not what they want you to use this for, obviously. Yeah. Um, but. This card, if you're gonna use it for rainbow, has the same problem that every other rainbow card in the game does right now. It has no fucking mm -hmm. levitate. To be fair, Atelier doesn't need levitate. Well, she herself needs it, but her subs don't, if they have enough damage. Also, I have seen the anime this character is from, and this character is a freak. She's Damn. like, weirdly incestuous with her brother. Damn, like Spy Family? Tatsuya, like Tatsuya, Spy Tatsuya, Family? The guy that we have in S, her, mm. his brother. Damn. Or his sister is this character. And they are, like, weirdly incestuous in that anime. Yeah, but if Atelier gets buffed to, like, let's say her leader skill goes to 77 and she gets 78 and she gets levitate, yeah, this is probably the best spinner loop for it. She gets a better leader skill and then Gung Ho yeah. fucking shows up at your door with a million dollar grand prize and yep. invites you to the Gung Ho World Championship on the spot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is Rafne Kenny uh, a shield loop? I mean, a spinner loop? I believe so, yes. That, that, either this or that, but yeah, we don't have that yet, so we'll talk about I mean, it when it gets here. 
I can use this. I'm pretty sure Ravine Kitty has the thing where your cards have to be like god type or devil. Oh no, I'm talking about as a spinner loop for Atelier. But this is in the case that Atelier gets buffed. If she doesn't, then I'm just talking on my ass here. I am definitely coping hard. But Atelier is still nice really strong. Has, it's just hard to play. The other nice thing this card has, which you didn't mention yet, is it has an L shield, which is not awesome, but there are times when you can use that and it will prevent you from being killed. That is true. So that is something. Uh, its leader skill is... It's like Meh. borderline almost usable. It, Mom, can we have Beach, Barbara, and Julie? We have Beach, Barbara, and Julie at home. Really? But in this case, it's better than Barbara and Julie. Yeah, because uh, once once we get Beach in like whenever we get Beach, like July or whatever, it'll be better because this card will never get buffed because we'll probably never see this collab wait. again. But wait, hold up. You say Beach in July, bro? We get Beach in October, bro. True. I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah something like that. The warmest <laughs> month of the year in Edmonton. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But, okay. Um, oh, this active part changed wood to water. That makes no difference. Just pull out more, more waters. Pull up more orbs. Or pull up more woods. Yeah. You got a fast spinner. That's like you said. That's yeah. the nicest part about the spinner. It's a fast spinner. Yeah. I'm gonna be running and some atelier with this. Yeah. Time, which is also cool. Yep. Is that more or the same as Rafine's? What? Rafine the cooldown? One point five x orb move time, or is it a two x orb move time? I think it's two x. Nocturia is the one point five. I think. Let me check. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really care. Noct is way. two, and Rafine is. Yeah, I knew Noct was two. Rafine is also two, which is they're okay. both trash. So they're they're both trash. Yeah. They're all basically the same in that regard. This is looping, but Rafine is like one turn less, so it's over well, looping, thing, which is Rafine better. But has, nah. This card doesn't is that Rafine spikes your team. This this yeah. doesn't. This just makes you the spinner. It basically doesn't do anything else. Yeah, but like Rafine doesn't spike the leaders, which is badge. Sure. Yeah, it's but fine. Let's move on. You're running. I mean, okay, listen. I'm not. I realize you're not running it in gravity dungeons, but it could make you cap in a gravity dungeon if you spiked your subs. That's true. Um. Yeah. And then the equip. That's double scoobers. It's always gonna be oh, three turn delay too. Five effective scoobers. Forty percent blue OE. Sure. I don't really know where Earth. this would be that. Good. I mean, if you need a double skill boost and a delay, then sure, but like, that's literally the only thing. That's like, you don't really need that. That's yeah. like super overkill in a lot of cases. Yeah. Yeah. This card's probably like. It's one of the good options, but you definitely don't want more than two, basically. It's like A, if you want to put it in S because you're like. Hoping no, because so Atelier is not good. So top of A sounds better because Atelier yeah, hasn't even been yeah, buffed if you yet. Want to cope it into yeah. S tier, your tier list, go ahead, but you I definitely think this card A. A, top of A. Top of A is probably fair, yeah. yeah. Nearly because um, of how unique she is in the spinner aspect. Yeah. Look, it's only for Atelier, which is not good at the moment. Okay, this card. Um, Trash, straight to F. Good. Oh, I, no, uh, I forgot. Is... There's no F anymore. Fuck. Yeah, so this card <laughs> is good until we get Clive. I'll talk more about Clive once we do Shauna next. But this card is the pair for Shauna until we get Final Fantasy, in which case. It is immediately useless, and no one touches this card ever again. Yes. Um, it is technically six skill boosts. Trash. Um, and then when it transforms, it's... Okay, Tsubaki, cooperate with me. Thank you. Uh, when it transforms, it has two resists. Um, in a gravity dungeon, um, you would say it's not going to cap, but because Shauna has that infinitely scaling leader skill... Normally it does, on the main attribute at least. Um, it's not red sub at, which means you usually have to put an equip on it that makes it red sub at so that it'll double cap. Um, but even if it does, it doesn't have any kind of cap breaker on the active, so it's not that relevant. Um, it's just good uh, because it's a full cleric and it has utility on top of it, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's this card is this card is only good right now Give me one because second. we don't have Clive. That that is the main reason. This is your Shauna pair until we get Clive. All right. Uh, that CD equip is man. I don't remember this guy's equip being that good. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah, this bad. Equip is awful. One turn. One turn eight. One turn eight. Oh. Fog. We're regaming. Fog. We're regaming. Um, I think this card probably is like. 
top of A, bottom of S, because even like I, no. I, I know I said it's bad without Sean, no. but it, it is a four turn cleric with a spike and an RCB buff on it. Go back to the trench run. Hold up. <coughs> Sorry. Mm, yeah, I can see that. It, the resistances are good, so. Yeah, I'd say. It has two. It has two latents, and it can take the L unbind, which is fine. This card is like passable. It's I'd passable it... enough to, for Shauna to use it right now. That's that's why yeah, this card. I like put it below the anime that the, the the blue girl in anime because Spinner Loop funny. I would rather have him than the blue girl. But uh, the but him and dupes I, is not good. Neither is the blue girl. That's true. But like he's gonna the, be useless the, in like after. Pretty much all cards that you want one of, but you don't want dupes. Yeah. Eh, eh, that's fine. Mm, I mean, uh, but he's, he's gonna be useless when we get Clive. No Shana, you got four of him and no Shana, trade three of them for a Shana. There yeah. I mean, but he's gonna be useless when Clive gets here, so. I don't yeah, know, man. He's useless once we get Clive. But sh okay. she's. But Blue Girl is useful uh, indefinitely, so I'm putting her above it. Next, we're gonna do Shana. Final card, Shana. I am gonna. Once we talk about Shana. Because I've mentioned Clive a lot. Once we talk about Shauna briefly, I'm gonna ID Clive. We'll look at him. We'll talk about why Clive makes her probably on par with, if not the tiniest bit worse than Kira Toby. She's probably once we get Clive in the same ballpark as like Kira Toby, Remdra Trio kind of thing. She's not the fastest leader in anything, but just like Kira Toby, you can pretty much get through any dungeon with just like a cookie cutter team. That'll work. Oh, hold up. Um, Death? Death? You know you can trade him for Shauna, right? <laughs> Shauna's tradable. Yeah. yeah. I just said trade three of them, then you have three fodders for your five out of Shauna. Let's go. go. But, yeah. Um, okay. 25, so... three turn delay. Yeah, uh, okay, so it's a three turn delay, three turns of skill boost, and so delay is not as good as a haste, obviously, uh, yeah. but she makes you a good board when she transforms, and then we'll look at her transform, because that's what matters, obviously. Um, okay, so her personal damage is, it doesn't look that good at first glance, because but levitate, some bro. of her damage is tied to a god killer. She has levitate, which immediately makes her good. Yeah. She cap breaks to six billion, which means she's... 12 billion With max? the way that her leader skill works, she's guaranteed 12 billion every turn. Um, the other nice thing is her main and sub at are the same color, so you don't need any kind of equip to adjust her sub attribute color. Mm -hmm. uh, her leader skill is funny because it's a thing that kind of went out of meta and then came back because it's red tacos. Technically red tacos. Technically, I know that the multiplier isn't tied to the red tacos, but... Um, you had more damage. So... Yeah. Yeah. so um, Things that work with red tacos work for this. Um, like Shoei. You get plus 5C for matching two fire combos. And I know me and Ramen always joke and we say that if it doesn't have an auto Fua, it's bad. Um, the thing is, plus 5C is a lot. That, yeah. that is a lot of combos. And it makes it so that you can pair it with other things. And the fact that she's 25x HP is insane. Crazy. It's like Royal it's Nut. actually insane. That's Royal Nut multi, exactly. Um, she has no RCB, but again, we'll get to Clive shortly, and I'll show you why that doesn't matter. Um, she has really good personal damage, and the leader skill scales infinitely. For so you only orbs. need two fire combos to activate the the sh the the first part of her multi, but after that, for every heal combo that you match, you get... Um, yeah, mm -hmm. but how do you get more than six heals? Right, and you know she I mean? unlocks orbs, and she basically guarantees your your leader skill activation. Yeah, but how do you get more than six heals? Because okay. that's only two procs. So here we go, here we go. Yeah. ID, Clive. Oh, I should type that correctly. Let's hopefully brings up Clive. And then pulls up the heroin one, or the sacred relic one? Uh, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> got him! Got him! Get oh, trolled! Boy. You got him. Let's see if it'll come up if I do that. Pixel. Uh, mm. This is this is him. Yes. Uh, but we got to go back to his other forms because these are the ones that matter. Okay. Okay. Now I understand that people have complained to me before about how much I talk about cards we don't have. What I but talk we're about getting cards it? we do have. But we're getting but it. This so. is Final Fantasy. There is basically no way we don't get this very soon. 
and this card is extremely relevant. Yeah. Um. Okay. So three turns once per. Oh wow, that's man, that's spoiled. His base form is a little bit high in terms of how much you need before. I mean, he has three turn delay, so for arm from does, yes. Yeah. And also, when it transforms, it's seven by six is your board for a few turns, which is nice. Cool. Nice. Yes, it is another uh, good cards three turn skill boost. So it transforms, and then it's got red tacos, which you want for damage. It's got the levitate again, which you want for damage. It's got ten C's, which again you want for damage. Uh, its active skill is crazy because it makes you have seven billion main and sub attribute for that's, two turns. That's Not nice. A turn, that's like nice. It's like your yeah. And then it makes you the spinners when it transforms, and then for two turns it is a uh, VDP breaker. Um, and then for two turns, it's a red spike. So it does insane damage. And then the leader skill makes it so that instead of your entire health bar being your entire tankiness being tied to your HP, it's a slightly less, but it converts some of it into a shield. Yeah, seventy eight percent. That's like Kuratomi, basically. Much better. And he also gives you plus combo, so you have plus six and one auto fua, mm. which is or sorry, plus seven and one auto fua. Which means with just your leader skill activation, which in this case is going to be two plus fire combos, with just your auto f or with just your leader skill activation, which again your shanas will give you every turn, with just your leader skill activation, you're going to be on that plus seven on four combos. So you're guaranteed eleven C unless your combo debuffed in some way. Mm. Um, and then he's unbindable. He gives you a little move time. He looks cool. Which is a benefit, um, yeah, yeah. But and like, he gives you a flat multi. So his base multiplier of fifty six x compensates. Or, uh, well, fifty six at three fire combos with twenty eight x compensates for the arguable lack of heal orbs that you'll have via. Yeah, I'm asking, how are you getting more heals? Because like, it's only really two procs. You don't really need to. You need more red orbs. Eh, I mean, triple tensing and limitate some? I don't think that's enough to hit the 7 billion with only two heal procs, no? It is. It, it, you it would is. surprise you how much you actually do. Especially when you consider that he's giving you a 2x spike for fire. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. So, he's going to be on 14 billion. Your shanas are going to be doing 12. You hit very hard. Now again, this leader's not he's not the fastest. Him and Shauna are not the fastest, but him paired with Shauna, one Shauna sub. The the main thing that makes this pair so good is that between him and Shauna, you're very tanky. With a Kiori put on there, you're basically fucking immortal. Nice. Like you have insane like your HP hits like in the almost like six or seven million mark. It's insane. Um you're you're basically immortal. You always have an unlock. You have VDP on probably your best card. You do a lot of damage. The, the other thing that's nice is because of all the tacos that you're gonna have, it scales the damage of your other cards, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, you, know what, you know what the best part about about this card is? Mm. I don't I don't need it. I can just have two shanas, which is tradable if you get five, ten rolls and then get That is. Correct. You also do not technically need him. You can pair with one. Just beg your friends. Beg yeah, your friends. Exactly. Beg Better your make some friends. To Start talking friends. Best exactly. friend helpers. Yeah. He's very, very good. This is going to be one of those somewhat tragic cards where, unlike Shauna, he is not tradable. Is he exchangeable so, or buyable? Or? Not at all. He's a mid rarity? Nope. He's okay, I'm not getting him. All right, put him up for me right now. Well, I'll show if I go back to bit. No, wait, no, no, he's orb skin. I'm lying. He's oh, he's orb skin. Okay, never mind. I'm buying him. He's orb skin. So You're 20 bucks, you can get one. There you go. 20 bucks, get your Clive. Easy. Straight. Easy. So you don't need to beg a friend. You trade for your two Shauna's now. You and you buy it for 20 dollars. Yeah. And again, the thing, like I said, the thing that makes this card better than Misaka is between Clive and your two Shauna's, you have like three team slots to do whatever you want with. Yep, There's it's not so as restrictive. Yeah. You don't need to cover BDP. You don't need to cover unlock. You maybe because his RCV multi is not good, um, and Shauna's RCV multi is not that good. You probably want to find some way to, to compensate the healing a little bit. What do you mean uh, about VDP? Does it have VDP under somewhere? It gets VDP. That's his active. Oh, let me see. 
Go back in. It's down there. I, I went back to its bottom. Very oh, bottom. bypass. What, I see. No, five. Yeah, you definitely don't need VDP. Now. He gives you VDP and a red spike, so he'll basically punch through anything when you do. Mm, that. Nice. Um, so you need to, depending on the dungeon, obviously, you need to find a way to get through Fujin stuff and, and cover your resists. But yeah. the one nice thing is with four subs, and you could, because of how much skill boost they have between them, just in their base form, you don't really need to cover skill boost that much. Yeah. It doesn't need to be that much. You don't need to do some weird so you, hasting like with Sitana or Rendra. Exactly. You can, you can haste, and they're all single transforms, so you don't need to worry about hasting in between. They have a decent number of SB to get into their evolution when you start, so you have a great deal of flexibility in between. Mm -hmm. And because you're playing a mono color team, you don't really need to worry about. Uh, you do need to worry about OE, but not as much as you would for like a rank of like ramp, like Remdra trio or something, or Kira Toby. Where I you're mean, still want to run Paimon. You definitely still want to run yeah, Paimon, exactly. but yeah, yeah. You still want to run Paimon on this team, yeah. obviously. But like, yeah, this I I cannot stress to you. The other thing, again, like I've said this before, the other thing that makes this card so good is how easily accessible this card is. Exactly. It's way you better than Mizaka. Any amount of this machine, you you will be able to trade for two of this, and and you're, you're sailing, man. You're sailing. You're gaming. Meta team. You can make... I think Mantastic de demonstrated this in one of his videos. Uh, go check that out if you guys haven't seen it. Yeah, go um, check him out. He, he made a video showing that you can make meta teams with this card using only cards from this collab. That's like true. Teams that can clear, like, late game, UN3, UN4, using only cards from this machine. Yeah, there's full, a lot of assists and a lot of subs. See those f yeah, three red subs? That, mm. like, Four? It turns out that most of the red cards in this collab are either usable in their base form or usable in their equip form for this lead. Yeah. So, there you go. Let's look at the equip, just to, just to ah, see yes. it. Yeah, I think she actually does have a good... Oh, that, I'm going through Clyde. I'm not going through Shauna. Sorry, give me a sec. Uh, I pressed it for you. It doesn't work like that, but I see that, surely yes. it'll work. Tsubaki's trolling me. There we go. Okay, so her equip is... Uh, it's It's got the... um. Uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. Style thing. It's the Red Athena style thing where it drops red orbs as locked, so you can overwrite locks if for something like a Shiva Dragon farm team or something. Um... Which is relevant, because it also makes you a technically bicolor board. Technically? Cool. Oh, but uh, um, Drayton's asking, what does the team use for Absorb Voids? Erica? Erica? Who's that? Erica? That like the girl? She's talking about Erica, the, the one we put in A tier on this, the red. Oh, red, red. I see. But Erica and Red Ryume. I, usually it just uses Red Ryume only. I mean, you also use, like, Gilgamesh Kur. What's, what's his name? You can use Gilgamesh Kur if you want. Yes, yeah. you can use any of them. This, you got a lot of options. Nice WhatsApp, bro. Um, yeah, no problem. <laughs> some problem, brother. Some problem. <laughs> Not um, leaking my details today. Yes, sir. Yes, All right. Sir. Uh, but yeah, um, Red Ryume yeah, if you need shorter ones. Yeah. Yes, there, there's yeah. Red Red Ryume works. Erica works. Uh, Gilgamesh Kerr works. Hell, you the, the the multiplier gets high enough on this team, you can use regular Oops. Gilgamesh and get away with it. Um. Yeah. So like your your options are very very large and. Yeah, I. I and this group is okay, I, but like, obviously, you just want to uh, no, use you, the base you form. You want this for the base form. You really yeah, want this for the base oh, form. absolutely. Fine. So many cards work exactly, yep. exactly. That's why this card is so great. There's such a huge pool of cards. It's the same reason that Kuratobi's so good. There's a yeah. bunch of different leads to compare with, and its sub pool is absolutely <laughs> massive. Too so bad can, the only subs that people card. use are Yukine, <laughs> Vion, and <laughs> what's her name? Yeah. It just so happens to be that people have solved that team pretty heavily. Because that is pretty optimal. So It is. This this lead also has optimal teams too, but this one changes a little more based on the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. It's way more flexible than Misaki. Or Misaka. That is true. Yeah. It's also much more flexible than Remdra Trio. Because and you don't have to spend 700 plus stones to not get a Misaka. So. Yeah, that's true. This is This is literally... What's 35 times 2? It'll be, it, it can clear UN5 just like Misaka. It's just going to do it at like a quarter of the, or like four times the speed Misaka will. This like is only 70 stones. Slower. Only 70 yes. stones at minimum, so. Exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. All right, uh, let's talk about uh, exchanges and uh, form bowls. Should you uh, buy these bundles? Is it $1 or $2? I don't uh, know. I think it's $2, right? Huh? I think it's $2. Cause it's $2? Stone. Yes, definitely. Because no, 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 all it's, the... it's a twenty dollar bundle here. It's a no, I'm talking about one dollar, two dollar bundles. 
yeah, it's a twenty dollar bundle for the guaranteed eight star, which means that it's a one dollar bundle for the for the the one roll. Absolutely. So it's a, a one dollar roll. It's Absolutely. Roll. Yeah, I got a pretty shit one dollar, but it, hey, man, that's like a it's fifth of a shana. That's a fifth of a shana. Case, you get one trade fodder for shana. Exactly. Exactly. All right, twenty dollar eight stone. See, the only reason you've even ever consider this is the one percent for Basaka, because <laughs> it's very well, easy to get the rest of this. Twenty dollar eight stone of shana and save yourself five fodder. I mean, yeah, but like. You could get yourself, uh, dude. There's okay. The only thing that you would hate to roll here is Kami Joe. You yeah. I mean, here, no, that saved you twenty dollars. So no. Like anything. Yeah, any no. Even then, uh, it's fine. Like, yeah, it's fine. Any of these cards are fine to roll as long except as you only copy, except yeah. Shana and Tatsuya and Misaka, who you would want dupes of. You want dupes of those, yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's fine, but like obviously get the Misaka bundle first. Because yeah, Misaka okay. is thirty dollars, so don't buy that. Like if you if you're like not chasing it. Then don't buy it until you roll a Masaka. Then it's definitely worth buying one. Exactly. Otherwise, if you're, if you're just chasing it like I am and not getting it, have, it's a tragedy. You should have lots of stones as it is because Gungo what stones? Hasn't what really stones? Worth what stones? I, excuse now, me, sir. So what 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 stones are you talking about? Hell, Yo, nice job, um, acutely panda. Just roll the Masaka. Congrats, dude. Congrats. Um, now go spend thirty dollars and buy a second one. Kek W. Uh, let's see this. Uh, the other bundle, the, the hundred stone bundle. <laughs> Uh, trash, trash, this one, <laughs> utter actually, trash. Uh, the lineup for this Godfest is pretty solid, and if you don't have dupes of Pollux or Acubens, then sure. I mean, sure, uh, but like nine of them are good except for Pollux, and you only want two of them, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe this card's not. Yeah, this I'm, bundle's not. I, I mean, I, I, I'm a psycho, but you know. Yeah, you have money. I don't have money. I, I'm budgeting for pad. Why am I budgeting for pad? I shouldn't even be spending money on pad. Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's see. Uh, anything else we have to talk about? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, any adjustments on the uh, whatever the thing is? Um. No, it looks fine to me. Yeah, I like it. Seems good to me. Yeah, I, I like it too. All right. Uh, do we have to? And anything we missed about the uh, farm bullshits? Oh no, yeah. What dupes to use for an exchange? Like, you can follow the tier list for the dupes. Follow the tier list in this yeah. general sense. But uh, yeah. anything that isn't S plus or SS or S tier, if you yeah. get more than one, you can trade it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then and when it comes to GFEs, that's kind of up to your own discretion. I normally don't recommend trading things unless you have more than like three copies of a GFE. But like, um, don't yeah, don't ever touch GFEs in this collab unless you like really want Shana, cause yeah, there's if all if of you're these are dupes. Really hard in this collab, you don't need to touch GFEs. You'll you'll have enough dupes of the garbage like, to be able to get. Rid of stuff. It might even be justifiable to like trade with your only copies of like D to like mid B tiers to get Shana if you don't have it if you're that poor. Because yeah, yeah, obviously, sure. exchange what you're gonna actually play with and don't just like cripple yourself for no reason. So. Yeah. Three index, three Leonhardt, three index, three Leonhardt. Dude, that sounds like you're only one fodder away from a Shauna to me. True. But yeah, uh, credits. All right, thanks to uh, thanks to Dark Drive for co-hosting with me emergently because I had to stop playing playing piano for this. But yeah, I see how this. Yeah, it was emergency now, these. or I leave halfway through again, like I did, I did last, last time. True. Yeah, and both bad. Thanks to Vicious Soldier for video, uh, video editing. Thanks to Elder Gentleman for uh, the banner that we shittily put together. Uh, thanks to Subaki for all the card data and images that we have. Uh, thanks to Tearless Maker for this format. And uh, all the assets belong to Gungho. Don't sue me. And if that's all, remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you joined the video and let us know your thoughts about anything at all. Join us at discord.gg slash hyperionpad. Follow me on twitch.tv slash ramasmc and x, formerly known as Twitter. Donate to me on Ko-Fi if you want to support me because I'm doing this for free.